sponsored by Lexus of Las Vegas and Lexus of Henderson. A new study from the University of Chicago shows our happiness levels are at a 50 year low. But at the same time, our satisfaction with our finances is at an all time high. I asked financial professional Brad Zucker from Safe Money Advisors to explain what is behind this, plus some tips to improve our financial future. Brad, this is a very interesting study. When there's a lot of uncertainty about the future, it seems like the satisfaction financially for folks are pretty much high this time. Yeah, you know, unemployment and a recession are two factors alone that make it difficult to really grasp that we are satisfied financially. But a new survey that just came out showed just 14% of Americans say that they are very happy. That's an all-time low. Yet 80% say they are satisfied with their family's financial situation. That's an all-time high. And the contrast could be that people are comparing their happiness now versus pre-pandemic and comparing their financial situation to those that might have lost a job or lost money in the market uh, over the last few months. Now we're talking about positivity, but there might be some people out there who are feeling pessimistic about the future and we'd like to change that. There are ways to do that. So how can we uh, think a bit positive about their financial future? Yeah, well, there's basically three steps. First, deal with your debt, like high interest credit card debt. Uh, you can tackle your credit debts uh, very simply by using what is called the snowball method. What you need to do is organize all your debts, which are credit cards, student loans, car loans, and determine the lowest balance. Make minimum payments on all the other debts, but any extra cash, apply that to the lowest balance until it hits zero. Then move on to the next smallest debt, and like a snowball rolling down the hill, you can tackle your debt. Second, now is a great time to revamp your budget because more than likely since the pandemic, your spending and possibly your monthly income have changed. What you need to do is list all your current expenses versus your current income. You can get a budget worksheet off of an app or right off my website at askbradzucker.com. And third, if you still have your job and your income has not been impacted by the pandemic, now is the time to save more for your future. I always recommend 10 to 15% of your income to go directly into a company 401k plan. More than likely, your spending as well as your income might have changed, so you might want to take some of that extra money you would have spent at the movies or go dining out and put that towards your retirement accounts. Mm -hmm. Retirees cannot afford to run out of income. That's their biggest concern during retirement. Right. Important things to keep in mind and also to do, especially right now. Thank you so much again for your time, Brad. As always, we'll have all of this information too at KTNV.com, plus all the other advice Brad has given us throughout this year. We'll be right back.